fashion at a fraction. That's what we're talking about today. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about Teddy Blake, New York. This is not a sponsored video. I am not an affiliate. I do not get anything for making this video. However, this item here that's inside this box was generously gifted to me for an honest review. So I'm happy to do that. I also love to support New York businesses and to discover New York businesses because I'm a New Yorker and I love the fact that there are local small businesses out there that I haven't tried yet and I like to get to know them. But many of you may already know Teddy Blake if you are true handbag enthusiast. I think that Teddy Blake was really popular for kind of like the affordable luxury, you know, well-made Italian craftsmanship. That's what they're known for, but also at an affordable price. So I want to get in here and check out what they sent me. So this is a true unboxing. Oh, what does that say here? So on the top, let me see if I can turn this around. The box is really substantial. Um, on the top here, it says Teddy Blake, New York, designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. Okay. So they, I noticed on their website, they have a lot of croc embossed handbags, which are really cool, but they also offered more minimalist style designs and that really spoke to my personal aesthetic. So let's see how it works out. Once I open this bag here and I show you all the details, I will also put some of my items in to see how everything fits. And I also will compare this bag here with some of my more traditional designer handbags that you may be more familiar with. So here is a really nice substantial dust bag. It says Teddy Blake, New York. Oh, it's my first pink handbag. Truly pink, oh my gosh. You know I have been talking about pink for a while. This is so pretty. Look at it. It's so simple and clean. It kind of reminds me of, do you know Mansour Gavriel? They're also New York based. A lot of people think they're an Italian company. I don't own anything from them, but they have really clean minimalist designs like this too. So here in the back, it says Teddy Blake, New York in gold foil. Really discreet. I actually love that. The branding is on the back, so it's not screaming on the front. How cute! I've never seen an opening or a closure like that before, so before I open it, I just want to take a really good look. Let me smell it. Give me a minute. Okay, I just love the leather smell. I think you've heard me say that before. I love the smell of leather. So here is an adjustable strap. It has got one, two, three, four, five holes. That's good. So that'll be adjustable for really any height. And yay, yes, yes, it has two tabs. I'm so OCD, you guys. I need to have two tabs so that there's no curling on the end of the loose strap here. That drives me crazy. So that is very good, okay. So does it have a pocket here? Okay, no back pocket. I thought this might be a pocket. That would have been bonus. So let's open this up. How easy is this? Oh, okay, so let me try that again. So it goes like that. Okay, so open it up. It's really smooth. Kind of reminds me of the box leather on the Celine Classic. Let me get all this tissue paper out. Yeah, so Teddy Blake bags are going to cost in the hundreds versus the thousands that you might see on traditional designer handbags. So it really is fashion at a fraction and the fact that they make their bags in Italy is a plus because then there is at least some level of uh, quality and craftsmanship that you can count on. Let's see here. What does that say? Okay, just says Teddy Blake made in Italy. Yeah, I don't think you can see that. So it's one, just one compartment, one simple compartment. Nope, I thought this might be a pocket as well. You know I love compartments, so I was hoping there would be a couple of more compartments, but I think this is meant to be just a really light, it feels very light, and you know I don't like heavy bags, really light, minimalist, simple bag. So there's not a whole lot of bells and whistles, and I love it. I love that it's just 
it kind of is what it is and doesn't have to have all these adornments to it. It's just really simple. I think this will be a really nice grab and go casual bag, even travel bag. I think it would be kind of secure. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty secure. I don't think anyone can get in here without you knowing. So if you wanted to go on trips, with this kind of bag and in the summer and the spring especially I feel like this really pretty pale pink would go so nicely with so many light outfits and dresses and skirts oh, it's pretty I have never owned anything like this in this color so let me try to put some of my items in here just to show you and also to see for myself let's see So first, let's start with my trusty mini pochette. Let's see if it fits. Okay, so it fits. And I'm going to say that it's kind of, it fits, it fits fine, but it's snug. It doesn't leave room for a whole lot more, but let's keep it in there for now and just see. I've got my key pouch. You're probably so used to seeing all of my essentials now. Here is my Chanel Camellia card holder, so pretty. So I can already tell I'm going to need to take the mini pochette out, which is fine because, I don't know, lately I haven't been carrying around my mini pochette all that much in my mini bags, so I'm kind of used to it. In fact, sometimes I change it out for my Chanel mini O case because it's a little bit slimmer, so let's try that. How pretty, pink on pink. Oops, oh boy. Okay, so let's just get that. Okay, much more room. There's my key pouch. Let me just grab my card holder. Okay. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. Pretty neat. And then here's my phone case. Let me see if it stands up. Oh, it does. So this is the iPhone 7 Plus size. So it's pretty big. Let me see if it goes in laying down. Yep, it fits either horizontally or vertically, which is nice. And then if I put it in vertically, I can also put a little hand sanitizer. This is my hand sanitizer. This is my little Zumoni pouch that came with my organizer. Oh, I didn't even mean to, it's pink and pink. <laughs> so cute. So I can put that or I can put it laying down, although I am paranoid about sanitizer leaking in my handbags, which is why I put them in this little pouch. So I would actually want to stand up my phone for easier access anyway, and then stand up the sanitizer. That would just give me more peace of mind than laying it down. So it's poking out a little bit. Let's just see if it's going to cause any problems when I close it. Actually, not at all. It's fine because there's a little bit of space up there, as you can see. And the strap here, it's not removable, but like I showed before, it is adjustable. So yeah, actually it's perfect for the minimalist. It really is. The minimalist who likes pretty pastel colors. And there are plenty of other colors. I'm sure they have the neutral colors like black and navy and, and those, but how pretty that this girly girly pink came to me. And what a coincidence that I have all red and pink. Wow, it worked out. So let me show you this one here, how it compares to my Coach Rambler 16, which also is a very light and minimalist bag. I did plenty of videos on this one, and I know many of you went out and bought this. <laughs> it is such a good bag. So let's just see side by side here. So here it is in terms of sizing. So the Rambler 16 is truly a mini mini bag. And this one here is going to be a little bit bigger. I think this is called the Sarah bag. I'll have to double check that. And then another minimalist style bag that I own is the Celine, which is larger, the Celine Classic. Here it is in the box leather. So let's compare those. Okay, so this is the medium size, the Celine Classic, okay? So it's going to be larger and it's gonna have a lot more compartments and it's also a little heavier. Yeah, so there you go. And I also did reviews comparing these two because it was requested. 
very different in price range. <laughs> Thousands, hundreds, hundreds. And then this one here was the very last handbag that I purchased from Hermes in 2020. This one I've been wearing pretty regularly since I got it a few weeks ago and I'm really happy. I do consider this a very simple minimalist bag as well. Technically this is the front, but I wanna show you obviously because this is how it's more well known with the H, the perforated H. So let me quickly show you a side by side of this as well. So this pink Sarah bag, and I hope that's the right name, is going to be rounder. Yeah, so just, you know, they're all a little different, but I am really into the kind of subtle, clean lines, you know, minimalist aesthetic in general. So, by the way, I am planning to follow up with a proper review video of this bag once I use her a little bit longer. And I know some of you have requested comparison of this bag with other bags, like the Chanel Wallet on Chains. Um, but if you are looking for other comparisons too, then let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do that. I just have to get to it. There are a lot of videos that I'm trying to get to before the end of the year. Okay, so thank you to Teddy Blake who generously gifted this to me. By the way, I will never change my opinion of a bag ever just because it was gifted to me. And also... 99.9% .9 of the time I receive messages from companies who want to send me things and I just decline them because either I don't believe in the product, you know, I research it and I just don't believe it, or I don't believe in the company itself because something about them feels funny, um, or I feel like it's not authentically my style, so why bother? And other times I feel like you as my audience would not be interested because they're items that have nothing to do with my channel. I mean, I have been offered some really random things and I'll never knock a company and, you know, insult a company or a brand, but I do politely decline almost all of the offers, nearly all of the offers that come through because I just want to stick to my lane, you know, be just really genuine about things that I would have tried anyway. This one here, if I saw this perusing, this pretty pink, minimalist, clean little crossbody, you know, I'm a flat back girl, flat back, <laughs> flap bag girl, that's my style of choice. This definitely would have caught my eye. So it feels like me and it feels like something I could really just easily talk about, which I'm doing. But other things, not so much. And so I just want you to know that I am trying really hard to, again, stay with in my, I don't know, within my, myself, like my, what I would normally do. And I appreciate the gifts, but I also, as you know, don't like clutter. So if I know that I'm not going to like the item or use the item, I will never accept a gift from any company just because. Because then I'm stuck with stuff that I have to get rid of and I, I don't like clutter. I, I really like a clean, minimalist home as well. So just wanted to put that out there if you had any questions about it. And like I said, this is not sponsored, not an affiliate, nothing like that. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because I do appreciate that. And if you are new to my channel, I'd love for you to join by subscribing. And let me know what questions you have or any comments down below. What do you think of this bag? What do you think of pink for me? All right, thanks. Till next time. Bye-bye.